<laughs> Hello, this is Sophie Dawson from sophiedawson.com and Derek the Donkey's with us today and he's got his tools with him. <laughs> he's got some tools with him and he's going to help us unbox these, which is mainly graphic novels and comics. So let's get into this one. So there's quite a lot of these ones here today and there's some big boxes as well. There's a really, there's a couple of big books in here, but there's all sorts in here, licorice all sorts. <laughs> so little Derek the donkey is going to start us off. This one here, I'm very excited for. This this one here is actually Ghostbusters. It's the Ghostbusters graphic novel. So I think we should start with this one. Dun dun dun. Look, Derek the Donkeys. Can you get us in on this one? Yeah, this one this one took me about 20 minutes just to cover all of the names and the addresses and stuff. This is a very strange it's a very strange way they packaged this one though. We've got three graphic novels. So this one here is actually quite interesting. What it is, there's a it's a not a Ghostbusters, a bunch of Ghostbusters graphic novels, but one of them is actually worth quite a lot of money. Yeah. Derek's dropping his toes. I think it's this one. So th these this is when in my childhood I absolutely loved the real Ghostbusters. One of these is the real Ghostbusters as well. The new Ghostbusters. That's quite nice. The new Ghostbusters graphic novels. What's this one here? Ghostbusters Volume 4. Yeah, it's quite interesting how... You get, it's quite interesting how you can have the same characters, but they're, com they're completely different styles to the car. This is the main one, the Ghostbusters Omnibus. This one's worth about £50 or something. And I managed to get the, all of these for £20, which I thought was quite a nice, a nice bargain. But what I want to do is I want to collect all the things from my childhood that I was into, like Thundercats, Ghostbusters, all stuff like that. Oh, this one's going to be a hard one. I think little Derek might have to sit down for this. But uh, what's surprising, because I'm just getting into comics and graphic novels, what's surprising me is how many different types of franchises have comics. Things I never even knew had comics. Like, did you know that the video game Diablo has got a comic? Because the local comic shop, he actually had a couple of Diablo comics for 50p in the 50p bin. And it's amazing how many different video games have got comics. This is another thing as well, I'm bothered. Look, the thing is, you're gonna you're gonna probably rip the bag. Yeah, it's quite hard to get into these without ripping the bag. Look at this, look. Fortunately, I ripped the bag, but I didn't rip the um, the comic. But look, they've. Act I don't think that was a very good way to package that. But this is a Red Sonia comic. What happened was, I was on eBay looking at grab grab bags and somebody had put somebody had put a red this comic somebody put this comic god look how close it came to destroying the um destroying the co the comic <laughs> that's quite I got lucky there really you have to be very careful opening these but somebody had this and then what happened was they had They'd accidentally listed it, they didn't really have it. So then they had to go and find it again. 
But I just what I love about this is the the feeling between these two characters. It's very sexy, but sort of you get the impress I get the impression that they're gonna attack each other at any moment. I love that. There should be another Red Sonia one somewhere as well. See, I don't really know how to open these with, like safely. Ah, that's a much better. See, that's a much better way of doing it. So there's no way you're going to damage that. I can't say her name. Dire Taurus, Fairy Tales. There's a Vampirella Fairy Tales, a Red Sonia Fairy Tales, and a Dire Taurus Fairy Tales. So hopefully inside of these other ones is the other two that make up this complete set. I've also I've got a bit of a sore throat at the moment. <laughs> I feel like this one's all over the place today. Let's go with this one. What's this one? Dun dun dun. Ooh, it's nothing. Oh, I don't like these either. <coughs> I don't like these um, self-sticky ones either. I think these are just asking for trouble. Those self-sticky ones. What's this one here, I wonder? Hey! Love Everlasting, issue number one. I can't wait for this. What happened was I bought... I got in the in the local comic shop I got this thing called previews and it actually had the first couple pages of this comic and I just thought I, I read it and I thought I love this now what happens here is apparently this lady is stuck in like a groundhog day and what happens is every day she wakes up she's in a new she's in a new like um love affair thing but she, I think she keeps dying at the end or something. But she keeps coming back to life. And then, so it's a bit like a sort of a Groundhog Day twisted up romance thing. So I'm looking forward to that one. I don't know what this one is. But I'm going to try and... There must surely be a, an easier way to... There must be an easier way to, um... How are you going to get into that? I mean, that's crazy. Maybe go down there or something. Oh, I think this video is going to mostly be me trying to get into these things. So I always think I should just cut these out. Not, I should. I always think I should. What's this one? This is a graphic novel book. Oh, I think this is Saga, isn't it? Yeah. This one here is actually made by the made by the people who did um, the TV show Lost. Yeah, look, television's Lost. Brian K. Vaughan. Television lost. What's this one then? Well, what it is, this this one's got about this one's like going for years, I think, and it's got loads of them. So I always think to myself, do you really want to get involved in something that's got like fifty volumes or something? Because that's a nice cover, though. From award-winning writer Brian K. Born and critically acclaimed artist Fiona Staples. Saga is a sweeping tale of one young family fighting to find their place in the universe. Oh look, got a unicorn lady. Hehe. <laughs> oh, I know what these two are. <coughs> one of these is um something called Bean World, I think. <laughs> Yeah, Bean World. It's a um Yeah it is. 
Oh, I can't wait for this one as well. There's two big like omnibus things of these. What it is, it's basically little bean characters who got their own sort of ecosystem. So they're quite little simple creatures, I suppose. This is madness, this is. Yeah, look. Look how thick that is. That's what she said. Dark horse. So like all they are, it reminds me of um, Patapon from the from the PSP. The Sega Pat, then um, the Sony PlayStation Patapon game. But as soon as I saw this, I thought I can't. I've got to get that. Up. And there's another one as well. So there's two of them. Two like omnibuses. This one's got a little bit of um, damage on it. Not damage, but like. No, I think it'll come off. You'll be able to wash that off. It's just a bit sort of dirty looking. Yeah. <laughs> and then this one here, somebody was talking about this on a YouTube video. Psychodermia. Psychodermia. Oh, this one looks brand new. 1951. Dun, dun, dun. Psychodermia describes my own unease. I want artists to take take me far from every sensation I've ever felt before. Into territory that looks a little bit into territory that is less the pervasive than the reflection of some intimate forceful urge. In psychodermia lies something mysterious and ob obvious that must above all not be explained. Mobius. A bit strange, isn't it? Look at that little baby in the woods. I like the um I like the way they've done the colours on that. It is very like very nice. It is nice. Oh that was nice and easy. Oh, that wasn't. It's always it's quite interesting how di people different people package. Yay! Look, red. This is what it is. There's this artist. Some there's an artist. I can't remember their name, but they've made basically. They made a collection of these fairy tale covers, and th this artist did these two. I couldn't get the Vampirella one at the moment, so I got a different Vampirella one, different artist. But look how beautiful these these characters are. Look at the the way this artist has created these characters. I was there for ages, like looking at these, looking at the same cover of. In other words, I was looking at the same cover, but all the different versions of it, and I could not believe how different Red Sonia looked from different artists. And apparently these are like little self-contained stories as well. So, so it would be good for me to just get in and... I like, I like it better when you... I like it better when it's one issue and that's the complete story. Because when you've got like loads of them, it can be a bit overwhelming, I think. Yay! This is the unknown graphic novel. So I've actually got all of the comics over on my shelf. And this is the, this is the graphic novel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a video in the future, very soon, where I'm going to compare... Having four comics versus a graphic novel. Which one do I think is better? Look at that for a cover. It's cool, isn't it? 
I like graphic novels. Now, well, I'm going to open this big box first. No, I'm not. Let's go for this one. So these two here are from Forbidden Planet. One of them's going to be grab bags. But what I'm going to do is I won't open the grab bags on this video. I'll open the grab bags in the in another video. Yeah, we're in. This is hey, look, these are the grab bags, aren't they? Yeah, these are the grab bags. So, there's a sneaky peeky at the grab bags. Oh, what I got was I got two of the cheap ones. So what it is, there's two pounds. You get four comics for two pounds. And then there's another one which is a, a premium one. It was five pounds for four comics. That, that's probably the premium one, I reckon. The yeah, premium grab bag. It's supposed to be ten pounds, but it was. Five. I like the look of that one. So I'll open that on another video. This is a sneaky peek at the cheap ones as well. I like that cover. Hee -hee. Got Batman, and I do believe. I do believe this is this is this here is probably one of the most beautiful comic covers I've ever seen in my life. It's a red Sonia. Oh, why do they have to put um? They put proper sellotape on these. That's a bit weird. Oh, I want to get because what it is is what inside of here. Oh, I'm gonna completely. I think the best way to do that is that. There should be in here. Yay! Oh, I didn't need to do that. Look at that, look. It's the Virgin variant. That to me is just beautiful. I like the way they've like faded it out. What do you like better though? Do you like it better with the the text on it or no text? If I was going to frame these, because like some people put them in slabs. If I was going to frame it, I think I would actually frame it with the text, because then it looks like a cover. But there's something beautiful for me with no text on it. And all that's left is this one. I think little Derek's going to open this one. Derek the donkey. I don't know why they use this massive box for this. It, for me, this feels like a big, a bit of a waste of um, packaging. Really, this big massive box just for two bits. Look, that's a waste of, um, well, a waste of packaging, isn't it? The size of it. I didn't realise it was going to be that big. Oh yeah. Look at the size of that. This is um it's called Sky Doll. But the reason I've got it. Oh this is beautiful. Not only is it the comic, the graphic novel, it's also got inside of it sketches and everything. But I love this character, and the thing is, when I was looking into it, I love the story as well. On the planet Sudra, where all the religions of the cosmos meet, Noah 
performs miracles before enraptured, crowd, enraptured crowds, but soon she will face the truth of Sudra's existence and its trouble, troubling origins. Apparently they're like robots or something, created for like pleasure or something, something like that. But I just, I just fell in love with, it. what I did was I watched a video on YouTube, somebody flicking through it, it definitely wasn't this big, the one that they had, it was much smaller than that. But what, I just fell in love with the art. So that's it for this one. I do hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> what do you, what do you think is your favourite, what's your favourite thing out of these? And also, the next video, I'll be doing, going through these grab bags. I'm really excited for that as well. I hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you later for another one. Ghostbusters! I have a freaking old ghost man.